So we've seen how to set up a template sheet set file. Now let's look at our template file. And our template file, what I mean is our AutoCAD template file. I'm going to go to our folder here on the C drive, the sheet sets project files 01. And I'm going to take a look at our GSC underbar JSO underbar A3 DWT file. Let's right click that, copy, and then right click on the 01 folder and paste it in there. I don't want to mess with our old one. I just want to show you how to set one up. And we're going to rename this file. So left click on it, go to rename it, and call it CAD template. And we're going to open this file up. And let's close the Sheet Set Manager so we can get it out of our way. Now, this is just a regular ISO A3 size sheet. And it has a border around it already and a bit of a title block. So we're going to set up this title block so that it will automatically read from our sheet set. But what we want to do is set up a few things. Here we have Drawn By. Now, it looks like this one may already be set up. This is just regular M text. If I double click on it, it will activate my editing window. My text editor options are up here. And if I double click on this grayed out area, that will show me the field. Now, this is looking at a bit of information from the file itself, and that's from the author. This document info comes from the DWG file that it's working in at the moment. But we want to pull from our sheet set. So we're going to go to sheet set. And to set up the drawn by, you need to use a current sheet custom. Or you can go to the sheet set and drill down to one of these other properties. So what we're going to do is if we go to a sheet set and set it up to a specific sheet set, then it's always going to get the information from that sheet set. And you really don't want to do that in this case. So what we want to do, because we're setting up our template files, we want it to work out of the box. Just run with it and go. So we're going to go to Current Sheet Custom. Now we don't have a current sheet set assigned to this file right now. So we're not going to be able to populate any of this information automatically. So I'm going to click OK and see it'll tell you it's an invalid field code because we don't have anything selected here in our custom sheet set. So I'm going to cancel out of there. So how do I set this up so that I can use it with the sheet set ahead of time? Well, it can get a little bit difficult. Let me show you another example. So I'm going to go over here to this text. Now this text is in a block, as you can see, and I'm going to have to edit this field. So you're going to run into a lot of different issues uh, when you're setting up a template file, and that's okay. But once you get it set up, it'll be set up. So I'm going to double click on this block because I want to edit it, and it's the title block. So I click OK. Now it may be a good idea for you to set up attributes inside your title block. They're easy to edit. They're more difficult to accidentally delete while you're working with a file. And it just makes it easier to go through the entire title block one field at a time until you have it all set up. So that's my recommendation. So what you need to do is set up some attribute definitions. Click here and give it a tag, a prompt, a default value, and all the other settings, etc. Now what we want this one to be is drawn by. Prompt, I'm going to be drawn by. And the default, I'm just going to say drafter. I'm going to put it on the left justification. And our standard text style is fine. We're going to lock the position so that it won't move accidentally. Click OK. And now I get to pick where it's going to go. And I'm going to put it right here. Now that I have a piece already set up, I'm going to just copy it. This one is checked by. So now that it's here, I'm going to select it, double click on it, and I'm going to change it just a little bit. I'm going to call it checked by. and checked by checker. So if you've ever worked with attributes before, this part will be easy for you. And you just need to go down the line until you get everything set up the way you want it. So this checked by, I'm going to make on here to be the date. 
So we're changing this one. Date, date, and date. And this is what you're going to do over and over again until you get your template set up. I know it looks kind of boring and kind of tedious right now. This is going to be sheet number. And so on. So you can continue doing that. And what I am going to do is get rid of this text right here. And I'm going to give this a, another one right here. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to say, drawing name. Except I have to have an underscore under there. You can't put spaces in the wording here for the edit attributes. And I have most of my stuff set up the way I want to have it. Now I can go on and populate this with anything else that I want to do. Uh, but for now, I think this is more than plenty of an example. So I'm going to close my block editor, save the changes. Now when you edit a block and you put attributes in it, or you change some of the attributes, you need to do what's called a block sync. And you have to do that with Batman. It's not Batman like Superman and Robin, it's Batman with two T's, and that's the block attribute manager. So we use the Batman in here to update our field in our attributed text for our template. Now we need to do a little bit more cleanup. We have some extra text here just uh, lying around that we want to get out of the way. That's just kind of what happened. Okay, so now all the text that's in here, except for this scale text right here, is in our title block and their attributes. So if I double click on the title block, I will bring up the enhanced attribute editor. And this has all the blocks information in it that we can put in. So this is a great start. And this is drafter. I can change everything right here, give it a value of my initials, and it instantly updates it right here. Or I can right click and insert field, go to sheet set, and start adding some of my information. One problem that you have when setting up a sheet set and a template file to work together is that you can't read current sheet set information without assigning the CAD file to a sheet set. So that's something you want to keep in mind. But what you can do is set a sheet set placeholder, and that will look at one of these bits of information. Now I can type something in like this, like the custom property, and it will bring up the drawn by. I can do the same thing with checked by. Insert field, custom. But it's not going to work unless the sheet set actually has a custom property that's with that or named that or is exactly like that. But I'll show you how to get around this. We'll also need to set up a date. So we go here and insert field. Type in date, click OK. Sheet number, now this is one we can actually kind of do. So I'm going to select this, hit insert field, and I'm going to say current sheet number. Click OK. Now when your sheet set property doesn't have any information entered into it, you're going to get these hash marks or these four pound signs. That's how it's going to print right now. If I were to print it, it will have, you know, pound, 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 pound right in there. But when you see that, that tells you that there's some sort of mistake with your reference file, or with something involved here. So you need to check that out. Now, the other one I want to do is drawing name. So I can come here again to drawing name, right click and insert field. And I can come to current sheet description. That will give me my name. Click OK. And again, it's the same sort of thing. This is a preset field that comes with sheet sets. So AutoCAD can automatically read it for us. I'm going to just center my drawing here and I'm going to save this file. Now I just double clicked the DST file to open it up into AutoCAD. So it really isn't opening or working in that DST file. It sort of made a copy of it. So I want to make sure I save it correctly. So I'm going up to my application manager, click save as. And I want to save this as a DWT file. 
So I put that option in there. And now I have to browse to my proper folder on my C drive, sheet sets, project files, 01, CAD template. I'm going to save, override what's there. You can put in a description if you'd like. Tell it what measurement units it's in. This is in metric. Click OK. All right, so this is our template file that we have set up. So when we go to make a sheet set, press Enter. And I'm going to say New Sheet Set from an example sheet set. Next. And I want to browse to where it is. So I click this option here. I hit the ellipsis button here and I browse to where I have my template file saved at. On my C drive, under Sheet Sets, Project Files, 01, Sheet Set Template. Click Open. Next, I'm going to give this one a name. I'm just going to call it New Sheet Set for now. It's going to save right in the Sheet Sets folder. That's fine with me. If I need to save or set up any other bits of information here, one thing I didn't do in my Sheet Set template was add a date or a checked by in my sheet custom properties. I'm gonna do that now. Click add, checked by, and for the value, I'm just gonna go XXX, and that goes with a sheet. Click okay, and I need another one added in here, date, and I'm gonna go XX slash XX, there we go. And that's going to go with the sheet as well because our dates could be different on every sheet. Now I'm going to hit OK. Click Next. Click Finish. And here we go. Now I'm in this template file right here, but I want to save it as one of our example drawing files just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like. So I'm going to go to my application menu here, click Save As. And I want this to be a DWG drawing, not a template file anymore. And I want to save it in our project folder. I'm going to put it right in here, called CAD template. But I'm going to name this temp-01. You can call it whatever you want. So now this is a real AutoCAD file. And we created it from our template. And this is a real sheet set created, again, from our template sheet set. Now, to add this file to our sheet set is very simple. I can just click on the paper space tab and hold, then drag, and I'm going to just drop this into our assembly subset. Now, it asks me if I want to import this tab. I do, so I'm going to say import the checked, because it was checked, and here it is. Now some of our information is already filled out for us. If I right click on here and go to rename and renumber, I'm going to give this a drawing number of 01. And I'm going to title this first sheet in set. And I'm going to click OK. Now some of our information here should automatically update. Now it doesn't look like it does because you'll have to sometimes save your file first and do a refresh. Now what happened here is you can see instantly that our sheet number updated automatically to sheet number one. That's fantastic. We did that one correctly. Our description went from XXXX to dashes. Now that tells us that some of that information isn't filled out. So we're going to need to fill that out. So what's in here? Well, if you forget, double click on it, go to it, activate it, and we're on current sheet description. And that hasn't been filled out. That's okay. We can do that. We come up here and hit properties. And here's the description. So we have our sheet title, and here's the description. Now, for the field in our template, I hit save, and you can see it instantly updates my field. And you may have to adjust your fields uh, to justify properly, to be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. And you may need to change it from like the description here to uh, one of the other options. And that's fine. You can use whichever property that you want to, like sheet title and description. Or you just use one or the other. Or use neither, use something else. That's fine. Now one thing we also want to fill out here 
is the checked by. I'm going to put in my initials there. And the date, I'm just going to pick a random day and click OK. If we hit save, now we see here that these fields didn't quite work the drawn by, the checked by, and the date. It didn't work out like these others did right away. Well, that's because when you use custom properties, they don't necessarily work in the template file because they don't have anything to go to. So you're going to need to update these. If I go to date, and now if I go to current sheet custom, and I get my options now from my sheet set. Here's the date, and this tells me exactly what's up there, and I can use it. And it's there. What you want to do ideally is to set up your template file. Set up your first drawing like we're doing now. I'm going to go to the custom again, current sheet custom, and checked by. Click OK. And then I need the drawn by setup. So when you go and set that up initially in your template files, put in the placeholders. That way you know what they're going to be and it gives you an idea of what's going on. So then you come into your project, set up your sheet set, set up your template file, and then when you make your first drawing, associate it to the sheet set, that way it can read what's in there. And now when I go on my drawn by here and I go to my current sheet custom, and I go to my list of my custom properties I can use, I hit the drawn by, click OK and OK. Now I have everything filled out here. I'm going to change this property, the description, and I'm going to just, for this sake, give it the same properties, first sheet and set. Click OK. Refresh, it says first sheet and set. Now I'm going to save the file, I hit Control S, and I've saved this file. Now I want to make another sheet. So I right click, hit Move or Copy, create a copy, and I'm going to move it to the end. Click OK. So here's my second sheet in my file. And when I copied it, it copies over all this same information. And it just kind of holds it there. Even though it's looking at a sheet set, it's just holding that information. And until I go in and physically change that, it's going to still say sheet one. So I want to add this sheet to my set. And it won't let me do it until I save the file. So keep that in mind. So I save the file, left click and drag, drop it in. This is the file and this is the tab, import checked. And now it's been added. So I'm going to right click here, go to my properties. I'm going to use my description here and I'm going to say second sheet in set. And I'm going to give it a number course of drawing zero two. Click OK save the file, and everything in my title block automatically updated to the information filled out in my sheet set. So you see here, all of this stuff worked. All I had to do was just create the new sheet now from my old sheet, which was already working, and then populate the data accordingly to the needs of the drawing. So that's how you do it. You set up your sheet set, set up your template file, then make your first drawing, and then make all of your other drawings from there. Something you can do as a trick to help speed up this process is to set up your first drawing and just leave it blank. Just keep the title block blank the way it is. And then you can select the title block, copy it out, and paste it into any new file that you create. That's one thing I do to help the setup process. Now, it seems like a lot of work for just a little bit of information. But now that I've set it up, all I have to do from this point on is copy this tab or copy this drawing and I have this all filled out and it works properly. So that's what's really cool about sheet sets.